you can enrich your cockatiel's life through food. Stick around to find out how to do it. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, we're talking all about cockatiel food enrichment. And I've got some really fun things to show you from my friends over at Northern Parrots. They very kindly sent the brothers some tasty goodies. I'm gonna show you how you can use them for nutritional and food enrichment today. Now, as usual, all the links for Northern Parrots are gonna be down in the description and you can get 10% of your first order if you sign up to their newsletter. Now, cockatiels in the wild are natural ground feeders, but they will also feed up high as well. And there are lots of ways that we can encourage these natural behaviors through the use of food. You can absolutely use their diet and other fun extras that are nice and healthy to encourage them to forage. In the wild, most species of parrot will be foraging for 50 to 70% of their day. So we, if we can incorporate that into some of their daily activities, that's gonna keep them mentally and physically stimulated, and it's gonna reduce the likelihood of some of those undesirable behaviors, like screaming, like attention seeking, like biting as well, because we want them to be busy and active and enjoying and living their best lives. And naturally, of course, we're talking about food enrichment. The boys are having some foraging over there to keep them out of trouble. So the first item I've got to show you today is the Parrot Cafe Organic Wheatgrass. This is a grow your own. We've had this before and the brothers loved it. It's so much fun. It's a really cool way of getting into microgreens. I do have a video on microgreens on my channel, but if you're a bit intimidated, you don't want to buy all the kit and all this stuff, you can get a pot of this grow your own wheatgrass. It's really easy to do. You just soak the seeds overnight. You plant them in the soil provided and then you just kind of let them grow um, you just pop it on a sunny windowsill and it grows really quickly you can offer it once the little grasses start coming through but we like to grow it quite tall because the brothers just love going in there and having a good time and shredding it all up and even eating some as well because it's super healthy so when you grow it like this from the soil into microgreens it is a living food and it is similar to the kinds of things they might eat in the wild so again a really fun enrichment type now another fun thing that's similar to what they'd eat in the wild is this pannikin grass Grasses, again, make up a big part of cockatiel natural diets. And this is fabulous. You can either hang it up in big sprigs in their cage, or you can lay it on a foraging tray or find other creative ways to weave it into toys. Now this pannikin grass is high in protein and fiber, so again, a really great addition to your bird's diet. And actually, when we gave this to Chip for the first time, he'd never seen it before, but he instantly went, started eating it, started investigating and foraging and things like that. So it shows that sometimes some of these really fun food items can bring out some of those locked in, instinctual natural behaviors. Something else fun to try with your cockatiel for food enrichment are oat sprays. These are a great alternative to millet and it's something different that you can try because it is a different type of plant. Again, oats are perfectly safe to offer your bird. These are really, really fun. They're high in antioxidants and fiber as well. So again, a nice healthy addition to your bird's enrichment schedule and diet. Now, as you may have seen, Baby Pickles has decided to join me because she can't help herself. She has to know what everyone's doing. And also all of the things in this video, they're not just for cockatiels. So if you have a mixed flock like we do, they can enjoy these yummy, tasty treats as well. Now, if you're like me and you typically give your flock yellow millet, you can try something different and offer them the red millet. It's a similar type of snack, just a different color and slightly different type of species of millet. Um, but this again is a really popular treat with most cockatiels and we don't really want it in the main diet. We want to be using it for foraging and training. You can use a tiny little sprig here and there in your foraging trays, but we like to pick off the buds of the whole sprig and use that for positive reinforcement for training and for hiding in toys and foraging trays and things like that. It's a really great treat. And I don't know many cockatiels who don't like millet. It's also high in protein and fiber. So again, a lot of people think that seeds and things are really fatty, but actually millet is low fat. So that's always a good thing as well for using for foraging. Another healthy snack that my cockatiels love is popcorn. Popcorn is crunchy, it is healthy as well when fed in moderation as part of a balanced diet, and it is just a really fun addition. Now, if you are making popcorn at home and you're not buying pre-bought stuff like Northern Parrots, please do not use popcorn bags or anything like that because they contain a Teflon lining, which is toxic. It's loads easier to buy a box of popcorn like this from Northern Parrots. This is the beetroot flavor. They also have chili flavor as well. Beetroot, again, is nice and healthy, full of antioxidants for your bird. But this is great. Again, you can sprinkle it on a foraging tray. You can add it to their dry evening meal. You can put a little hole in it and string it onto some paper string or onto a kebab skewer. There's loads of different things that you can do with popcorn. But again, it's crunchy. Cockatiels generally like sort of drier and crunchier snacks. So I think a lot of birds are gonna really enjoy this. 
And the last product to talk about today is something that we don't offer very often. It is a very special treat, and those are Nutriberries. Now, these are not a complete diet. They're not in the main diet. They're not something we feed every day, but they are good fun. And sometimes they are, for example, the only thing that Louis will accept for going back in the cage when he's being cheeky. They are something that a lot of parrots really enjoy, and we do offer them sparingly as a special treat, but there are ways that you can get your birds to work for them. One of the things that we like to do with Nutriberries is hide them in paper cake cases, or we we will offer them as foot toys and the birds can shred them. Most of them doesn't, they don't even get eaten, they just kind of goes on the floor and makes a big mess. But they do enjoy kind of shredding them. Uh, but as I said, they're not part of the main diet at all. We do feed a very healthy, raw and natural whole food diet. However, for special treats, for special occasions, they will get a Nutriberry because they do enjoy them. Um, but we like to have a very balanced and healthy diet for our birds here. So again, we like to make it really hard for them to actually access by hiding them in other things and getting them to really work for them. Because again, the whole point of enrichment is to be mentally and physically stimulating, getting our birds working and getting them thinking, properly problem solving and exercising as well. So I would love to hear from you and your cockatiels down in the comments what sort of enrichment they really like to enjoy, especially food enrichment, and if you've tried anything from Northern Parrots. But from me and Chip and Fish who are up there being cheeky and don't want to be on camera today, which is fine, take care and see you later.